Hello world, North Shore Scout here, and today I got some fun stuff in store. I got a new toy, and this one uh, is going to be different. What I got is an electric fat tire bike from Amazon. Is the Eco Trek. Um, got it for 980 bucks a bunch of other little add-on stuff sitting over there but I have not seen any videos of this thing being put together on YouTube other than like a couple of them so I'm gonna tear it open and let's get to her okay so we got the box open funny enough in shipping the uh, staples didn't really hold in there so the entire box is open but everything seems to be fine. Alright, so <laughs> that is a huge freaking tire. Oh boy. So it looks like we got a frame over here, tire, and over here, the seat. Alright, and there looks like the battery. Alright, good. Have this all pulled out and set on the ground. And we'll get back to there. Oh boy, that was a right pain in the butt. All those zip ties, all that packing, like foam wrap stuff. I lost one piece, it, it, it's, it's down the street. Uh, I have to go fetch that. Probably shouldn't be doing this outside in the wind. Uh, but yeah, we're almost there. Got it out, all the accoutrements, and check this out. They put this ugly ass piece of iron here to keep the bars from being pinched together. So they stay nice and wide enough for the front tire to go in there. That is actually pretty cool. I don't mind it as rusty or anything like that. It is, doesn't do anything to the bike. But pretty neat. Alright, I'll get back to you once I get more done. Whew! Pain in the butt, but fun. Opened up one of the little boxes in there, and I am very impressed. All right, so there's the keys for the battery. Here's the um, quick release stem for the front tire. Here is a wrench. Probably get that uh, hunk of metal off the front there and tighten down. No, oh, tighten down something. On, oh, there we go. The um, Pedals, probably. But here's something really cool. I saw that they send a tool, uh, like a tool with it, but this is actually pretty cool. Alright, so let's see here. Alright, so these look like they are like tire patches, I guess. And they have over here. Rubber solution, so this is uh, yeah, it's a tire patch. Huh. Not fully sure what these are, but maybe they are for getting the tire off the rim. Maybe. I'll look at the instructions later. Whenever you never know. But here we go. Here's a nice tool. See if I can get this open with one hand. Probably not. There we go. Got it. So there we go. All your Allen screw, Allen heads. Let's see here. Da, da, da. Ooh. And you have your socket set. That's real nice. Phillips head. Uh, da, da, da. Some more little wrenches down here. Dang, that's pretty nice. A plus for uh, putting it in there. That's, sorry for going on the screen there. That was really cool. Um, yeah, when I originally got into biking in college, I actually went out and bought one of these and it cost me about 20 bucks. Now that one came with some uh, spoke, 
keepers or something. I'm not sure. I don't even know how to use those. Um, but it came with a chain tool. And I've used that chain tool on quite a few different things. Um, and not bikes either. I actually used it on like a uh, mini bike. Well, not on a mini bike anymore, but ATVs and a whole bunch of different types of stuff. So this here. This is probably going to get used on a whole slew of different type of stuff. Hopefully I won't lose it. Hopefully. But, yeah, that's a nice little carry bag right there. I have a little pouch that that's going to go into. Um, the pedals. These things are freaking solid metal. Hitting the frame. <laughs> These things are like so solid. They got, they got heft to them too, so my big old size 14s are going to be happy on these. Alright, and then we just have the battery charger over here, which I'm going to go and plug the battery in right now. And come on, pop open, pop open. There we go. Three prong. Um, yeah. Let's see here. What is this thing rated? What is the camera? Because I can't see where darn. Oh, there's a rating. I can't really read it. My glasses suck. So, looks like 100 volt or what? I don't know. That's pretty cool. So, yay. Here it is, 24 volt at 2 amp out, but nice. Cool, cool. All right, back to her. Okay, so I finally got all the wrapping off of it. I got the battery sitting over there charging a little bit. It is completely dead. Whew. And now on to the handlebars. And what's really awesome is uh, that tool they send you perfect just go right up to it start taking them out take this plate off bring it up put it in there tighten it up and we move on to the front wheel all right i'll get back to this after i get it set up okay i got the handlebars on i got the front tire on <sighs> let's see what next should it um Hold on. Um. Well, Jackass has put the front fork on one backwards. A plus. Oh. Okay. Easy fix. Easy fix. All right, so what you do is you come up here, you have these here. Why they're not on the same side, I do not know. Oh well. But what you gotta do is snap, I gotta line them too. Slightly out of a line. All right, so just unscrew these, loosen this up, turn this all the way around, and then we'll be able to line it straight up. Freaking A. Mint. Okay, front tire on. The handlebars are aligned. Pedals are on. Chain is on. Got the gauge on. And now the last piece, well, next to the battery. But that thing's got charged for quite a while, so yay. Last thing to go on will be the seat. And let's get her on. And boom. Yeah, that, that, that's not going to happen. There we go. Ooh, ow. Wow, once it the entire thing, now I got a sliver. Yee. All right. Just squeeze this thing on here. 
All right, and there we go. A complete Ecotrix. How do you spell it? Or say that? Bike fully assembled, minus the battery because it's charging. And yeah, that wasn't too hard. The chain you just slip on. Um, only derps through the entire thing was uh, the front fork shipping backwards from the stem position. Uh, build quality, the only thing I noticed with build quality issues, this right here, this was very, very flimsy, but it's fine, it's on there. It's very lightweight, so it's not going to be bunched, bumped around a lot. Um, let's see here, throttle, ooh, that's nice, nice and springy. The brakes are very nice. Uh, I do have to adjust the front. No, the fronts are actually good now. Look at that. Nice and strong. So, yeah. Once the battery charges up, I'll throw it on here. Um, and sadly, my GoPro has, well, died. I was trying to put videos on the computer. And for some reason, it just said nope. And bricked itself. So hopefully, after about, I don't know, 12 hours... The battery on it will die, and I should be able to plug it back in, charge it back up, and it might reset itself. Hopefully. If not, well, I'm going to have to figure out a way to record videos with my phone on here. Ooh. All right. Well, there she is. I'll be doing some more videos on this. Sorry I didn't show you any of the turning screws, but you don't need to do any of that. You don't need to see any of that. You need to know how to do it. Just that tool works just fine. I do have to say though, the tool after using it isn't exactly the best build quality. It's I had to say about five bucks for this thing. But it worked. It got together. But when you're torquing on it, all these guys came loose. So you can tighten it up to have your own tools. Focus. But yeah. It's fine. It'll work. It'll get you out of a jam. <sighs> so there we go. Ecotrix fat tire bike. I'll do a review on, or yeah, put up like a review and all that kind of stuff on Amazon when I'm fully done with it. Until then, North Shore Scout signing out.